I've been to Amsterdam maybe 20 times. I took a sabbatical there for uh, two months and taught. I've brought students over four or five times for courses. I have studied euthanasia there. I have a book out with a Dutch colleague who people on the trip will meet, who's a physician who actually practices euthanasia. One of the things about the history of Amsterdam has made it a country that is highly committed to personal freedom. There are people in the United States who speak of, of the Netherlands as Sodom and Gomorrah because they have legalized prostitution, recreational drugs, and active euthanasia. The Netherlands says, look, these things happen regardless of whether you try to ban them. And that in fact, by trying to ban them, you drive them underground, you don't really understand what's happening, you promote a criminal class, you walk around the streets there, you're not worried about crime. It's a very, very safe, friendly city. The Netherlands is a country that has a tremendous sense of solidarity, and that grew out of the country was originally basically underwater. They have reclaimed the land from the sea and continue to do so every day. We're gonna have a tour and understand how they work together. We're gonna to visit the War Resistance Museum, which is about the German occupation of the Netherlands in World War II. We're going to visit The Hague, which is the capital of the Netherlands. It's where war crimes are tried. We have contacts with people who know a lot about the recreational drug scene. Coffee shop is a special designation where marijuana can be sold legally. We're going to hear from the owner what it's like for him to deal with this issue. I hope that people come away better educated for themselves about these kinds of problems.